With a population in the UK of 9,000 pairs, wingspan 850 to 930 millimeters, weight 240 to 390 grams, and a lifespan in the wild of 4 to 15 years. Where can they be found? Found in farmland, grassland, wetland, marine and intertidal areas. The barn owl is not only the world's most widely distributed species of owl, but is also one of the most widely spread of all birds. Although Scotland has the most northerly breeding barn owls in the northern hemisphere, the best time to find them is as a clear morning after it has been raining all night, as barn owls avoid hunting in the rain. Barn owls screech, which sounds like... What's the difference between males and females? Females are more conspicuous than males. While females of most bird species are dull in contrast to the male's counterparts, females barn owls have a vibrant reddish-brown hue that stands out against the red of their chest. Males are significantly more plain and smaller compared to the females. Studies have shown that the number of spots on a female is an indication of how immune they are. Females that have more spots catch fewer diseases and parasites compared to the females that have fewer spots. What do barn owls eat? Barn owls usually hunt at night, hunting and catching small mammals, mostly field voles, shrews, mice and sometimes rats. They eat about four small mammals every night. That's 1,460 per year. Food is often swallowed whole. Bits of fur and bone are then regurgitated as an owl pellet. They have an extraordinarily special adapt characteristics to help them hunt for food at night, such as an incredibly sensitive earring and the ability to see movement with very little light. Like other owls, barn owls have their ears placed at different levels on their side of their head. Since their ears face different directions, they can locate the source of a sound accurately without having to turn their heads. The small cover of feathers over their ears also help them in directing the sounds into their ears, thereby enhancing their already powerful hearing. Since barn owls have a heightened hearing, these owls can also remember the sounds that they have had heard if need be. They can memorise different vocalisations that prey make and know exactly what they are doing. This gives them the advantage while hunting because they can tell whether their prey is stationary, eating or moving around. What's the courtship behaviour? The courtship behaviour between the birds has always been fascinating to learn about and the barn owl is no different. The male performs different flights to take different positions to try and impress the female. They present the potential nest in sights by flying in and out of the nest. They also do a moth flight. This is a position that the male assumes by hovering in front of the female while dangling its feet. Barn owls are usually monogamous and mate for life, rarely ever separating. Some studies have shown that they would take up more than one mate on occasion, but the males will continue to feed all the mates throughout their incubation periods regardless of this. What's the owl's breeding habits? They don't build nests, the eggs are usually laid on top of the owl's own pellets debris, which is soft and absorbent. The nesting area may be on top of a wooden ledge, or between the barrels of straw in an old barn. For hundreds of years, the barn owls lived mainly in farm buildings, and helped the farmers out by eating the mice and rats that lived in the barns. Some old farmhouses had barn owls nesting in the attic for many generations. But over the past 100 years, most of the old traditional nesting and roosting sites have been lost. Old farm buildings have been replaced with new ones or converted into houses with nowhere for the barn owls to live. Hollow trees have been tidied away. Church towers are often netted off to stop owls and other birds making a mess. Today, barn owls live in specialised built nest boxes. Putting up nest boxes is one of the most important and easiest way to help barn owls survive. But be aware, not all purpose-made owl nest boxes are ideal. Every year, people find young nestling barn owls on the ground having fallen from the nest. Sadly, fallen barn owlets that cannot get back into the nest often die 
if they're not quickly rescued. The clutch size is highly variable. Four to seven eggs are normal, but as many as 14 have been recorded. The supply of food dictates the number of eggs laid and the number of chicks that fledge. In good food years, eggs are laid early and big broods often rear successfully. The female does all of the 30 to 40 days of incubation and she and the young chicks are reliant on the male for the food before the chicks fledge. The chicks will make their first flight around 50 to 55 days old, but won't be independent of their parents for another month. Want to win a free canvas? All you need to do is subscribe to the channel and type in the comments, I want a canvas. For more information, click on the cards above. Bitten Cuckoo Grebe Hobby Avocet Reed Bunting Ringed Plover If you enjoyed this video, try this one, or click Car Travel Playlist to see them all. Cheers! Bye!